that his bark is worse than anyone's bite. It's Tiger Wood. Joining the heavyweight at 207 pounds, Tiger Woods' frame is made of pure oak, driven by dual permanent magnet DC motors with a chain reduction transmission. This robot has tank-style steering. And when it comes to weaponry, it's back to the standard pure steel in the shape of a triangular sawtooth lifting plate that also serves as a ramming spot. And Tiger Wood was designed by Errol Miller. A resident of Chino, California, Errol's an avid woodworker with all the skills of an engineer. He combined his talent and hobby to create Tiger Wood, Robotica's first ever wooden robot. We pulled a robot that was entirely out of wood and it fights like a tiger. You know what? We call it Tiger Wood. Opening up new opportunities for carpenters and woodworkers of Robotica. And his opponent, here comes 173 pounds of Spitfire, wound up into lightning fast spinning steel grinders. He's just itching for a big boy to sink his teeth into. It's the teak. This low riding robot has its wheels set at a 23 degree angle for increased stability. With a huge 15 to 1 chain reduction drive, the one horsepower motor strength will generate more than enough torque to tangle with the big box. And those six spinning grinders get going up to 4,000 RPM, which will send robot parts to fly. And the tick was created by David Gilson. David is a part time scoutmaster from Omaha, Nebraska, who got the inspiration for his robot while on a nature hike. He hopes his robot is as indestructible as its namesake. I'm King Critter, and my boss named the tick. And like real ticks, we can't. Oh, the same guy that built close enough. Suck all the bolts out of all his box. Our first event is called the Gauntlet, and it puts sheer speed and brute force to the ultimate test. Here's how it works. Bust through the wood, pummel the cans, beat the bricks, and waste the blocks. Through the rubble, then it's up the ramp, and through the glass, and the gun is yours. Let's go down to Dan Dagnick, ringside. One of the great things about Robotica is that the builders have to design with a variety of challenges in mind. The ramp is a significant obstacle in the gauntlet because it presents competing demands. Low ground clearance, which is the very thing that will help you through the bricks and cans, will prevent you from getting up the ramp. Look for robots that get behind in this event to catch up while their opponent struggles to ascend the ramp. Back to you. Thanks, Dan. The gauntlet is ready. The robots are ready. Are you ready? You better be, because here it comes. The gauntlet. Robots ready. We're in the way. Tiger Woods pulls off the line, flying through the cans. Look like he's got one step right underneath his middle. The tick no such problems. He added the plot with his head. And there go the bricks. Tiger Woods is free now, turning toward the bridge, the Tiger Woods can. Oh! He goes up the rail there, nice! Now he's off, and right through the block, he's at the halfway point. Ten hands for the block, he's spinning his tires a bit then. Here's the hitch of those wheels on it. Because of their angle, the tip doesn't have as much tire touching the ground, so he gets less traction. Here comes Tiger Wood the other way, and now they need the block. I think the tick will get credit for the wall. Oh, they slip right past each other. Neither one looking to butt heads here. You see David Gills is content to work on the low clouds now. The tick slowly works with that cloud into the debris. Tiger Wood knocks down the rest of the bricks. You see that mess that Tiger Wood left for him? Three different types of rubble all sitting in the same place. Meanwhile, the tick left his walls partially intact, which limits the amount of debris Tiger Wood has to deal with, especially if he goes through the same gaps. Tiger Wood gets past the cannon and out over the wall to Grandma's house he goes. Tiger driver David Miller is lining up the ramp. Here he goes. And Tiger Wood is up and quickly takes out four pages of glass. He continues around the perimeter there and the tick barrels forward now. He's at the starting area looking for those five points for being second up the ramp. And he's got them. This match will come down to the bonus page. Oh, the legend there. Beautiful. Tiger right up that cloud to tick. He backpedals, hits him again, and on top of him again! Now the tick pushes backwards, Oh! Tiger Wood in the gutter! Tiger Wood with that nose in the air! Tiger driver David Miller is not happy! There's no getting out of there! And the platform now belongs to the tick! And now we see the advantage of those angled wheels on it. They provided no pushing surface for Tiger Wood, who found himself climbing on top of the tip, who could then push him around anywhere he wanted. Lotus Pay on its way down, here goes the tick. Oh, wrong angle! Tiger Wood is fighting to get out of that gun, he's actually making progress! Tick is readjusted here, he needs to back up and get more speed. Can Tiger get out of the top? Oh, yeah, the answer is no! The Tick takes it, some damage to that plow, but a great comeback on the platform. That's what makes this event great! David Gilson is pumped! Amid by avoiding confrontation early, both lots kept this game close and forced a showdown on the platform. The Tick's angled sides proved to be the more stable design and gave him the victory. And there it is, the Tick takes the gauntlet. Score there, the Tick, 80 points, and Tiger Wood with seven. Ten is 
congratulating our winner as we speak, Tanya. All right, here we have David Gilson representing The Tip with Team Critter. What a great round of competition. That was amazing. Oh, yeah, I loved it, man. I love that. How your wood bob we went up against. Man, I tell you what, my, wa my mom seen me scratch that wood like that, she'd spank me. <laughs> she'd be very disappointed in yeah. that picture. Yeah, but I tell you what, when I went up against my uh, critters, if you look on the side of the box, uh -huh. the blades, my critters took care of them pretty good, didn't they? <laughs> now, Tigers seem a lot more powerful, generally speaking. Yes. Was this luck or strategy, do you think? Um, partly strategy, partly luck. We went out there and uh, we wanted to do the best. Uh, when we qualified, we had a little bit of problems with uh, high center on bricks, so we made some modifications to the uh, wedge and came in here and that modification seemed to work beautifully. We went out through there, they were plowed through all the obstacles. Uh, not as fast as the uh, Tiger, but we were fast enough to keep them from uh, taking the uh, any of our points from our sides. Um, and then we had enough uh, advantage going through their mass, and then they were able to get on there beforehand, we were able to get up there, and uh, they, were, they were, uh, came after us pretty hard, and we just happened to have a little bit lower uh, bot than them, and they came up on top of us, and we were able to push them right off to the uh, side, and after that, it was a free run. Now, what about the wedge on, on your bot? That is, the, we call that a mask, uh, really. Um, and that was mainly designed for this particular competition. Mm -hmm. For the next couple competitions, uh, we're gonna have what we call a we call a spinning drum, actually it's a hybrid, and it's actually made out of uh, um, sprockets, uh, farming from spr sprockets, it's semi hard, mm -hmm. and they spin about uh, between 35 and 4,500 RPMs, and I tell you what, when we're out practicing at home and we went over wood, it sounded it's so cool, and I just can't wait to leave some teeth marks in the uh, Tiger next round. Awesome round of competition, Woo! love it! Woo! Woo!